everyone, it's me, Steph, the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to the Daily Nerd Live Friday edition. How are you all doing? Oh my goodness, it is the weekend, and uh, yeah, um, it's been an interesting day today. Uh, I had the day off um, from Popcorn Planet and Andy, uh, he kindly gave me the day off so I could meet up with a couple of my best mates, and yeah... I, I got some adventures to tell you guys. It's been um quite the emotional day. It's been a bit of an emotional roller coaster, guys. And it's um yeah, I, I'll get I'll get into it after the main topic of today. Uh, but yeah, it um yeah, it was um yeah. I'll get into all of that, and uh, oh my goodness, my Mr. Fox, yes, um, he did something really, 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 really sweet today, and so I'll get into just a little bit of that um, again after the main topic, so stay tuned for all of that. In the meantime, purple is the new black, starting it off right with a $3.99 sugar box, and my favorite, yay! The Ginger Doggy Fighting House moment. Yes, I definitely need cheering up today, guys. Um, what happened earlier on, uh, not with Mr. Fox, uh, two best mates, they're all right, but it was um, harrowing. It really, really was. So, again, we'll get into all that after today's main topic, but Purple is a new black kicking it off right with my favourite, the Ginger Doggy Fighting House moment. And for those that don't know, here's a Ginger Doggy. There's farts coming from the tail, but when you lift the tail up on a ginger doggy, what happens? You see the butthole. Therefore, this is a ginger doggy fighting hearts moment. You will never, ever be able to unsee it ever again. You are very welcome. And what do we like to say here in the alternate tribe? If you want to ruin a sugar's day, you can send some sugar books my way. So purple is the new black. Thank you very much for doing that. You absolute ledge. Uh, for everyone uh, that's watching on the replay, you know the drill by now. Fast forward about 10, 15 minutes. I will have started the main topic at that point. But oh my goodness, so many people already in already. Uh, thank you so much to everyone that sent in messages of support and particularly congratulations on the community here. 100,000 uh, alter nerds in the community. It's been absolutely an amazing week uh, since that actually happened. I'm still waiting for YouTube to send me the link to be able to actually like you know, up, get the plaque. Uh, but yeah, uh, as soon as we do that, we will be having a celebration. Uh, so do stay tuned for the 100,000 subscriber celebratory kind of stream. We're going to have so much fun. Yes, 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 yes. And um, hmm. Yes. So <laughs> I, I keep refreshing, but I was able to, once a YouTuber gets to 100,000 uh, subscribers, uh, you're then able to get verified. So you get like a tick next to your channel name whenever like you comment or you're in the chat or anything like that, like this. Let me do it right now. Um, so yeah, I've just put it in the chat right now. A up everyone. And you'll notice now that next to my name, there's a little tick. Uh, it means I am verified, so you know you are definitely getting a message or speaking to me on YouTube. Uh, and that only happens when you reach over 100,000 subscribers. So that's another little kind of like, quite literally, tick uh, to achieve on YouTube. So thank you so much to everyone that supported uh, this community and subscribed. You guys are freaking amazing. So thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Uh, but yes, uh, the 100,000 subscriber... Um, party stream uh is on its way so yeah like i said i don't really want to do it until we get the plaque uh because it's missing it's missing so we need to get it uh miss mickey though thank you so much for your continued support for the leadership saying big hugs steph well thank you very much big hugs back appreciate your face and general scott i salute you kicking off gifting five leaderships to some of you lucky lots out there so everyone say hey up to our newest leaders courtesy of our general scott and miss mickey is like i know what to do kicking off today's gifting wars
So thank you so much to Miss Mickey for responding and officially kicking off today's gifting awards. Uh, everyone say A hey, up to our newest leaders, courtesy of General Scott, Miss Mickey, and also Vicky A. Vicky A looked to the general and was like, I know how to do this too, Jen. And was like, I can gift five leaderships to some of those lucky alter nerds out there. So everyone again say A up to our newest leaders, courtesy of General Scott, Miss Mickey, and woo, Vicky A. My goodness, we're already up to 11 new leaders for today's stream. We're just four more away from 15 new leaders for today's stream. So who else is going to jump into today's gifting walls and be like... This is how you do a gifting war. Guys, we may soon find out. We may soon find out. Uh, but yes, as the badass mod Project Motor Music is saying, the gifting war has certainly started. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. And Vicky is like, I can do a gifting war. And I can also find your favorite Super Chat sticker. The Ginger Doggy Fight Arts moment. Yes. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And thank you so much for the $2 sugar box. You have just ruined a sugar's day by sending some sugar books my way. We love it. We love it, guys, don't we? Uh, and D Williams. Oh, my goodness. The Ginger Doggy Fighting Hearts trade continues. Thank you so much for the $2 sugar box. Yes. Love it, love it, love it. There you go. Head mod there. Project Metal Music. Want to ruin a sugar's day? You can send some sugar books my way. That'll do it, guys. That'll do it. Um, uh, let's see. Hang on a minute. Um, there we go. Sorry, I just needed to check some of there. And... Um, <laughs> Chella McGuire, do you think old Moonbump Meg will bake gingerbread men to be your friends? Well, this is the thing, right? It's absolutely hilarious that Meg's new series is on cooking and friendship. I'm laughing my absolute tits off with this one. It's insane. Um, but yeah, actually, I'll change that. There we go. Actually, that. There we go. I just, I was like, do you know what? I like that better. I mean, it's gonna fail anyway. I mean, let's let's be real here. But there is an insanity, okay, to Megzi doing a program on cooking and friendship. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get on to that in a moment, guys. Um, let's see what else you guys are saying. Oh, Sue B. Sue, thank you so much for the $5 sugar box. Saying, have to chat with my mum. Oh, shiz. As dad had surgery today, we'll be back on soon. Much love. Hey, forget me. No, 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 no. Sort, sort your family out. Like, do you, 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 you got, no, 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 no. Forget me, Sue B. Sue. My goodness. No, 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 no. Oh, my. Wow. I, I hope it went well with your dad and that everything's fine and I wish him a speedy recovery. Art's in the chat right now for Subi Sue. Uh, Subi Sue, like, don't rush to get back. Like, s be with your family. Like, seriously. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Um, all right. So, Victoria, Adrian, thank you so much for the night to sugar books. And, uh, oh, Mr. Yellow Dude, like, oh, well, thank you so much. That's very, very kind of you. Uh, Christine Tracy, I see you, Christine Tracy. Thank you so much for the $3.49 sugar box. And this is your first ever super chat on a live stream. Well, thank you so, so much uh, for choosing my channel as the first one for you to ever send a super chat to. That is freaking amazing. Oh, my goodness. Thumbs up for you, Christine, right now. That is absolutely mega kind. So thank you, thank you so, so much for that. My goodness. Um, uh, and, uh, oh, Melody. Hey, up, Melody, how's it going? Uh, thank you so much for the $3 sugar bucks. And, oh, Mr. Green do being like, thumbs up, thumbs up. I love it, love it, love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. 
Right then. Well, with that being said, guys, um, let's jump into today's main topic and then I'll give you a little bit of life update afterwards because today's been an absolute emotional roller coaster. So we're going to get into all of that right now. So yesterday, <laughs> it was announced uh, that Megzi is launching a new series uh, and Prince Hazard is as well. Uh, Prince Haz is launching a series on Polo. Oh, we're going to get into that as well. Uh, but she's launching a series on cooking and friendship, amongst other things. And I'm going to explain to you why all of this is freaking insane. All right. So here we go. Uh, whilst I'm going through today's main topic, if you guys send any super chat, super chat stickers and whatnot, I will get to it as and when I can. Uh, in the meantime, yes, so yesterday it was announced uh, Meg Z and Hazza are launching two non-fiction series at Netflix uh, featuring cooking, gardening, and professional polo. Now, yeah, uh, Dateline had revealed this. They're in uh, production at Netflix. And yeah, uh, Meg Z is going to celebrate the joys of cooking, gardening, entertaining, and friendship. Literally, the term markled is because of Megzi. And she's going to lecture us on friendship. Oh, we're, we're, we're going to dive deep into this, right? Now, apparently, the series will be produced by Sony Pictures Television, uh, the Intellectual Property Corporation. Corporation. It's as if I can't speak English anymore, guys. What the hell is wrong with me? Uh, that's behind the series, including Hulu's The D'Amelio Show, A&E's Leah Remini, Scientology, and The Aftermath. Um, she's also got Leah Harriton in, who'll serve as showrunner, um, who was on Selena and Chef. Uh, Michael Steed, who's helmed episodes of My Next Guest Needs No Introduction. Uh, Anthony L. Bourdain, Parts Unknown, uh, he's directed. Um, and so... Yeah, uh, this comes after, of course, she launched American Riviera Orchard, really known as Flamingo Orchard. Let's let's be real here, right? Now, uh, Hazza, on the other hand, and this is hilarious too, okay? Um, <laughs> he's going to follow the world of professional polo. Uh, shot primarily at the U.S. Open Polo Championship in Wellington, Florida, at the USPA National Polo Center, the series will explore the world of sport, known primarily for its aesthetic and social scene. It's going to pull the curtain back on the grit and passion of the sport, capturing players and all it takes to compete at the highest level. Hazard has been known as a keen polo player and is often, often photographed. Again, it's as if I can't speak English anymore. And he's often photographed playing internationally. Now, like I said, we're going in on Prince Hazard as well when it comes to this. And, oh, yeah, he has been photographed playing polo. But um, it's not a pretty picture. We'll get onto that shortly. So stay tuned for all of this. So, yeah, they're going to executive produce um, with Archwell Productions. Both untitled shows are in early stages of production. Now, let's get on to Megzi. Cooking. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if the recipes that she's going to be showing on a show are actually her own. And I'm asking for a friend because um, does anyone remember this little tidbit? So one of her exes, Corey Vitello, very, very well-known chef restauranter in Canada on the scene there. Now, they apparently dated for two years between 2014 and 2016. Um, the relationship ended just before she got with Prince Hazard and basically upgraded, right? Now, he works in Toronto and he was there whilst Megzi was filming Suits. They started seeing each other a year after she split up and divorced her ex-husband, Trevor Engelson. Now, according to reports, the relationship was serious, but it absolutely went flat when a prima donna kind of situation increasingly came to the surface. Apparently, she would frequently use a firm as well to bag the best tables at restaurants, which, yeah, I fully believe that. Now, one night, the story goes, she was at a dinner party with friends, 
and she took the credit for coming up with a recipe for a courgette pasta dish, despite the credit actually belonging to Corey Vitello. So in other words, the story goes, she's hosting a dinner party with friends, she makes a meal, she says it's hers, but she's actually plagiarised the meal because she's stolen it from Corey Vitello. That's how the story goes, right? So this is the thing. This is why I ask, hmm, I wonder with her cooking part of the show, will her recipes actually be her own or will they be plagiarised and copied as per the situation here, right? Now, before we continue, Ms. Mickey, thank you so much for the $2.00. Sugar box, really, really appreciate your face there. Thank you so much. You have just ruined a sugar's day by sending some sugar books my way. And MLS, hey, you up, mate? Saying the best membership I own. Oh, well, thank you so much uh, for your continued support, mate. Really, really appreciate your face there. Uh, Lisa says, and yes, I remember now, Lisa. Uh, Super chat isn't working for me tonight. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. Um, that'll be a YouTube thing. Not a, not a me tube. Not a, it's not a me tube. It's a YouTube thing. Uh, so really sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, crack on because even if right, let's 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 be real here. Even if her recipes are her own, let's give the benefit of the doubt. Let's give the benefit of the doubt. Right? Even if the recipes are her own, um. Will she actually cook them on her show? I'm asking for a friend because... <laughs> Remember this? For archetypes, she was allegedly caught faking her interviews. She wasn't even there reportedly for some of the guests. She had a lackey step in for her, ask the questions, they recorded the answers, and then in post-production, she steps in and records her bit and they splice them together. So knowing that report is out there, I ask for a friend, will she actually be doing the cooking on her show? Or will she get a lackey to do that? Do you see where I'm coming from here? So just to explain this, so... Uh, according to reports, uh, multiple sources have claimed that some interviews on the show were done by other staffers, with audio of 41-year-old Megan's questions edited in afterwards. Uh, although this site in question, Pod News, didn't highlight any specific episodes where this might have been applied. However, podcast guest Alison Yarrow, who's a journalist from New York, revealed that she actually didn't speak to Megzy during her episode. Um, she appeared on the show To Be or Not To Be, in which she explored the origin and plague of the word bitch, uh, revealed in a social media post shared shortly after her interview was recorded, saying that the chat had taken place with an audio producer called Farah Safafi. So, you see where I'm coming from here? The chat didn't take place with Meghan Markle. The chat took place with some random lass called Farah Safafi. Uh, sharing an image of herself in front of a sign for Gimler, an audio production company, Alison then thanks Farah in the caption for being such an excellent interviewer. So you've got to think there. Again, think about it. Hmm. If she is, allegedly, faking interviews, in a way, on archetypes, by not actually being there live, asking the guest face to face these questions, right? I wonder, in this new show, in this new series, right? She actually going to do the cooking? Or is she going to get one of her lackeys to do the cooking and be like, here's what I baked? Yeah. Um, a pity conspiracy theory, whatever, Megzi tries to do the least possible amount of work like possible to get the biggest amount of credit possible. Let's put it that way. Now, in terms of Hazza, right? And we'll get back to Megzi, but let's switch things up a little bit. In terms of Hazza, right? I'm a little bit surprised that a new series that has been announced for him is all about Polo because I remember this from last year, don't you? What happened to doing a film, doing a documentary on his beloved continent, Africa. Hmm. 
I wonder what happened there. Has that been ditched because of <clears throat> African parks? Now, it was reported at the time that his next big idea was to return to his second home of Africa, but without Megzi for, an, at that point, new solo Netflix documentary uh, about the continent, people, and the wildlife. A Netflix insider confirmed to page six that Hazard's Africa type show was one of the more warmly received suggestions from him. Another source said, obviously, Harry has a lot of roots in Africa and he feels at home there. He has previously called Africa his second home. And so, again, I'm a little, little bit confused with this whole situation because how is it that instead of it being announced that today, uh, or yesterday, should I say, that, you know, Hazard's African documentary is taking place. No, now it's being switched up and he's doing a documentary series, whatever, on Polo. Again, I wonder what happened to his beloved idea of going to Africa on his own. I wonder if it's got anything to do with what's been going on with African parks. I'm just asking for a friend, guys. I'm just asking for a friend. Before we continue, Lynn Denton, thank you so much for your continued support for the leadership. Saying love to you, Steph, and espe everyone, especially the mods. Hey, love it, Lynn. Thank you so much. And ah, uh, Lisa got it to work. Thank you so much for the five pound sugar box. Saying, I bet she's going to have something she cooked ready in advance. Here's what I made earlier. But even if that's the case, which fair enough, if she's going to do that, fine. Is she actually going to be doing that cooking? Or is she going to get someone else to do it? Uh, Mason Bennett, thank you so much for your continued support for the leadership, saying, I never laughed so much, Steph. Friendship? Ha <laughs> ha. She would not know friendship if it slapped her in the face. And guys, we're getting on to that. Oh, we're going in. We're roasting her, basically. We're, 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 we're going to go there. But this is the thing, right? I've just got on and discussed, essentially, hmm, I wonder what happened to Af uh, Hazza's idea of the African documentary series situation. That seems to have absolutely gone down the toilet, right? Just like Megzi's animated series, Pearl. Do we remember this? Oh, yes, we do. Uh, Netflix cancelled the development of Pearl, an animated series that was going to be created by Megzi in order to cut costs. Yes, um, because of a sharp fall in subscribers, and one millions more were set to quit the service. Yeah, Netflix was like, we don't have enough money anymore. And uh, your idea with Pearl ain't good enough. So absolutely got cut. Um, so, yeah, it looks like, you know, not only is Megs's ideas getting cut, but this whole hazard going to Africa situation. Hmm. I wonder where that went. Right, guys? Uh, but this is the thing. Um, Netflix said at the time uh, that they cancelled Pearl, uh, that, yeah, it will continue to work on a number of projects with Hazem and Megzi, including a documentary series called Heart of Invictus. And, uh, yeah, what was the outcome of that? <laughs> this, it was a flop, guys. Heart of Invictus did not make the top 10 list, either here in the UK or in the US. No one gave a shiz about it. It failed. It flopped big time, guys. Um, now, going back to Hazard's now new uh, series that was announced yesterday, this whole polo situation. Yeah, maybe not the best idea for him to do this because... Yeah, he faced animal cruelty claims uh, over a polo pony stab wound from his spur. Um, so, yeah, he was accused of animal cruelty after his horse suffered an injury during a polo match. Uh, he was photographed riding a pony that appeared to have been stabbed in the flank by his spurs. An onlooker claimed that he continued to ride his horse whilst it was injured, allegedly by his spur. Um but apparently stopped playing as soon as the injury was spotted. I'm just asking for a friend. Could it have been possible that he spotted the injury earlier but still decided to play on anyway? Because, you know, he's an absolute psychopath as far as I'm concerned. I'm just asking for a friend. 
Uh, animal welfare groups accused Hazza of being heartless uh, and the Polo Association had launched an investigation into it. But, okay, a little bit of a trigger warning here. I'm going to be showing you uh, Hazza with the horse that got injured. So the injury will be seen. So I'm going to give five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, right here. You see that? Absolutely disgusting, guys. Disgusting. I'm going to focus in there. And so this is the dude that's going to do a series on Polo. When he, we have to say this, allegedly did this to a horse whilst playing polo. Absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, before we continue, my goodness, Sergeant is in the house. Give dinner whopping 50 leaderships to some of you lucky lots out there. So everyone, firstly, say hey up to our newest leaders, courtesy of Sergeant George Harrison, and also as well, my goodness, she's an absolute ledge at this point. Arts in the chat for our Sarge right now, because this is insane. Sergeant's turning around and basically saying, I know there's a gifted war coming up, but let me show you why I'm the freaking Sarge. Booyah! Mic drop. 50 gifted to some of you lucky alter nerds out there. So, my goodness, Sergeant, I salute your last A up. How's it going? Uh, <laughs> hope you're still enjoying that 100 inch Samsung TV that you're probably watching right now with me on it. Hi. Uh, and one show, thank you so much for your support, mate. Saying congrats, Steph, over 100k subs. Hope I catch up to you soon, sister. P.S. Megsy probably sets a bowl of cornflakes on fire. She's so bad at cooking. Dude, do you know what? I hope this series comes to fruition. Because I'll be very honest with you. I'm, I'm going to watch it. And most likely, I mean, if it's good, I'll tell you. I I'll be honest. If it's good, I'll tell you, okay? Um, most likely, though, it won't be good. And I'm just going to rip all over it. And that's just going to be so much fun. So, yeah, one show. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for that. Really appreciate your face. Uh, Waggy Quack, thank you so much for the $5 sugar box. Uh, saying another of Harry's polo ponies, Drizzle, died of a heart attack after he had ridden it too hard. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to show, like, one example of each of what I'm going through right now as to why these new series are completely insane. Completely insane. Uh, but, yeah. There's that, uh, there's that example as well. And he's going to do a series on Polo. When, as far as I'm concerned, he can't even treat the horses that he rides on correctly and safely. It's insane. Insane. Uh, MLS, hey up, mate. Thank you so much for the $4.99. Sugar nah, nah. box. Saying, I was just re-watching one of my favourite TV shows and I was so disappointed to see Megzi playing a character in one of the earlier episodes. Which one, mate? Which one? Let me know, let me know. Uh, if anyone wants to send... Oh, sorry. Let me try again. If anyone wants to ruin a sugar's day, you can send some sugar books my way. That'll do it, guys. That'll do it. Uh, anywho, let's uh, crack on. So... Uh, the horse that was injured, uh, the pictures that I've just shown you there, uh, this was during a match at the Guards Polo Club in Windsor Great Park, Berkshire. Um, Prince Hazard's household cavalry team was beaten by the Royal Navy by five and a half goals to five. Under polo rules, riders who use their spurs excessively face disciplinary action, ranging from a warning uh, for a first offence to a fine of up to £50,000. Uh, they state any player intentionally striking another player or any pony with his stick or, uh, we've got to be careful here for YouTube human viewer, being extremely nasty to his pony by excessive use of the whip or spurts shall be severely penalised. The rules also say any spur likely to wound a horse is forbidden. Well, quite clearly, as far as I'm concerned, Hazard was using a spur that, yeah was likely to wound a horse because the pictures do not lie. They don't lie at all. 
Uh, Andrew Tyler, director of animal welfare charity Animal Aid, said it was heartless and an utterly selfish thing to do. Yes, it was. And this is the dude right here that's now going to do a series on Polo. The allegedly did this to one of his horses whilst playing that very same sport. Can they be any more stupid? If anyone gets that reference, bonus nerd points to you guys. And so, yeah, let's get on to the megzy of it all. Because, yeah, not only is she going to be lecturing us on cooking, which, you know, I've just gone through a story whereby um, she might have plagiarized a, literally a recipe from one of her ex-boyfriends. Um, but she's also going to maybe, possibly, I suspect, lecture us on friendship as well. When um, she's really bad at it, guys. There is a term. You got markled for a reason. Uh, here we go. Let me show you some of these reasons. So Victoria Beckham, she absolutely dropped Megzi like hot shiz. Uh, because apparently Megzi and Hazza accused Victoria and David Beckham of leaking stories about them to the media. We're talking about David and Victoria Beckham here. I think they're not the type to leak stories to media about other people like that. I just got a funny feeling. Just got a funny feeling, right? Well, that really rubbed Victoria Beckham up the wrong way and was like, eh, eh, I don't think so. Bye bye, Megzi. You cut. You're done. And before I continue any further, a little bit of a heads up. Uh, in next week's Meghan Markle versus series that will be released again on Wednesday, nine o'clock UK time, four o'clock Eastern, the next versus series is going to be Meghan Markle versus Victoria Beckham. And oh my goodness, the research that I've come up with about them two and what happened. You are not want you're not gonna want to miss it. Let's put it that way, guys. So stay tuned for the next episode of Meghan Markle versus Victoria Beckham next Wednesday. And I'll go into much more detail at that point. A lot of you guys have been really enjoying the versus series so far. Episode two came out earlier on this week of Meghan Markle versus Dan Wooten, and you guys ate that up. You guys really, really loved that. So yeah, I'm gonna continue with the series because I'm enjoying the heck out of making it for you guys. That is for damn certain. And woo. There's a list. The, 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 this will be going on for a few years. Let's put it that way. Anywho, the next one uh, is Megzi and Jessica Mulroney. Yeah. Megzi's going to lecture us on friendship, which you can't even keep her best forever friend in the whole wide world. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You see where I'm coming from here? Now, yeah, um, Jessica slams Megzi's racist bullies in 2019. Uh, she's at the baby shower. Um, Jessica and her children play a key role in Hazard and Megzi's wedding. Uh, they go on a girl's trip. Uh, Megzi gushes about her on the TIG. Uh, they became besties in 2011. But, oh, my goodness. 2020 was the turning point, guys, where... Jessica Mulroney got markled by Megzi. And Megzi, again, is going to be lecturing us on friendship when she can't even keep her friends. It's insane. Uh, so Sasha Exeter calls Jessica out for textbook white privilege. That is when Megzi then redistances herself uh, from Jessica. Uh, Jessica hits out against Megzi uh, bullying allegations on Instagram. Uh, Megzi and has a snub Jessica in their Netflix mockumentary. And Jessica gets no mention in Hazard's Spare, otherwise known as Wah. So, yeah, this was a best friend forever kind of friendship, right? That Megzi absolutely markled. But again, she's launching a new series to lecture us about friendship. Oh, yes. But wait, there's more. Now, I did a video about uh, Millie McIntosh and Megzi. Uh, I believe it was last year, so do look into that. 
But yeah, Millie McIntosh, uh, she's in the UK, a uh, famous UK socialite kind of situation and reality TV star. She says she was ghosted by Megzi uh, after she started dating Prince Hazza. And the story here actually is really, really sad because this is one of those examples, as far as I'm concerned, of Megzi using someone up until a point where their use is done and she then markles them uh, because she's gone on to something better. So uh, Millie McIntosh reveals that she became friends with Megzi around eight years ago. Um, the pair met at a hotel opening in Istanbul. Uh, she says, I was a fan. I watched Suits. We met at the bar. We were both ordering a drink at the same time. and just started chatting. We got on really well, like a house on fire. They clicked over their marital uh, troubles because um, we were both married at the time. Uh, both stayed in touch. She eventually gave Megzi her little black book of favorite spots and contacts uh, when Megzi visited uh, London, saying when she would come to London, she didn't know London very well or know that many people, uh, adding that the two would go out for brunch, they'd attend yoga classes together. But the last time Millie saw Megzi was in September 2016. Two were pictured together at a girls' kind of weekend situation and said, what I thought was going to be a day of yoga and chilling ended up being rosé and margaritas in the pool. Uh, adding that they both had a really fun afternoon. It was during that trip that Megzi admitted that she was in t uh, contact with Hazza. Uh, the two were introduced by a friend. Uh, Millie says, I didn't ask too much of it. Didn't really think too much of it at the time. If only I had known. Yeah, if only. Uh, because this is the point where Millie McIntosh gets markled. Uh, when news of Hazza and Megzi's relationship broke, Millie decided to reach out to Megzi. Uh, and she says, I messaged her and just said, hey, hope you're okay, thinking of you, right? Nice message. <laughs> the response apparently called to Millie was really abrupt, and while she didn't disclose the actual message that she got from Megzi, Millie's like, felt like Megzi kind of told me to F off, basically. Yeah. And again, Megzi is doing a series on cooking and friendship. Yeah, yeah, you know, I would rather, okay, get a freaking advice on friendship for freaking Charles Manson than Megzi. I mean, come the frick on. I'm, do, do, do you really think we should be getting advice of friendship from freaking Meghan Markle? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like I said, I'd rather get freaking friendship advice from Charles Bleeding Manson than freaking Megzi. She's the bad. Uh, Fantasmic Ether, thank you so much for the $1.99. Sugar box are my favorite. Yes, the Ginger Doggy Fighting Arts moment. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Um, but yeah, uh, before we continue, uh, I can see here that there's 830 of you watching at the moment. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really, really appreciate your faces. If you haven't done so already, please do hit that subscribe button. Uh, join our Alt and Nerd tribe. Help us get to a million Alt and Nerd so I can get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Uh, and Fantasmic Ether says, oh, always love you, Steph. You're a badass with a heart of pure gold. Well, thank you so, so much for your support there. And MLS, thank you so much for the $4.99 sugar box, saying it was a 2009 episode of The League. Uh, okay, fair play, fair play. Uh, but for everyone that's also watching... Um, please use the like button as your voting tool. It's the quickest and easiest way for me to gauge you guys' opinion. Uh, basically, to see if you actually agree with me. And, and this is really what I want to kind of know from you guys. Do you think it's absolutely hypocritical and insane uh, for Megzi to be launching a series on cooking and friendship? I think it's absolutely hypocritical and insane. Do you guys agree with me? If you do, can you hit that like button right now? Again, it's just the quickest and easiest way for me to gauge you guys' opinion to see if you agree with me. I can see here that 439 of you guys are agreeing with me at the moment. Uh, I'll check back in a few moments and see if there's anyone else that actually agrees with me. Uh, see if we're kind of on the same wavelength with that or not. Uh, but yeah, let's get on to... Hoo -hoo -hoo, yeah, why I also think... That Megzi launching a series on friendship is freaking insane. 
Uh, but month two, thank you so much for the $1.99. Sugar box in my favor. Yes, the Gigi Doggy Fan has moment. Yes. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Uh, but yes, she actually did have a friendship with Pierce Morgan. Yeah, it actually did happen. Um, so yeah, they connected on social media back in 2015. Uh, Pierce Morgan followed Megzi um, after she sent him a DM, which read, well, hello there, thanks for the follow, big fan of yours. Uh, posting a screenshot of the message last year, Pierce wrote in happier times when Megzi first slid into my DMs. I think it's fair to say she's probably not such a big fan of mine now. He then said that they would regularly talk over email, mainly about suit storylines, and that this went on for 18 months. They were on such good terms that Megzi would send Pierce previews of Suits episodes for him to watch before fans did. Uh, in the summer of 2016, the friendship progressed further. They arranged to meet up for drinks when Megzi visited the UK. They met at his favourite pub, the Scarsdale Tavern in Kensington. He claims they chatted for hours. Uh, in 2017, Pierce lifted the lid on their meeting in, uh, on uh, Good Morning Britain, saying we had 90 minutes in my local pub over a dirty martini and a pint of hand-pumped Harvey's. Uh, he says that they were great buddies uh, and revealed he was pushing for Hazard to propose to her. So my take on her was she's very beautiful, she's very intelligent, she's 35, she's being divorced, her dad's white, her mum's black, and she's had some problems with that growing up. No, she hasn't. Uh, but says, I was really impressed. I thought she was a very nice woman, very suited to Hazard and different biracial and actress. However, this was the last time that Pierce actually heard from Megzi because then he openly blasted her uh, for ghosting him and slammed her for letting their friendship go down the drain when she met Prince Hazard. Who? I wonder where we've heard that before, right? Just as the friendship went down the drain with Millie McIntosh, when she met Prince Hazard, the same also happened with Pierce Morgan. Yep. Uh, he claims that Megzi went cold uh, and that the drink in Kensington was the last time he ever spoke to her. He explained she met Prince Harry at the dinner that night, went on a solo date with him the next night, and I never heard from her again. Not a word. I'd been ghosted. Well... At least he didn't get a response back like Millie, which effectively, according to her, was an F-off situation. You know what I mean? And again, this is the woman that's launching a series of cooking and friendship. What the frick? Uh, Sergeant George Harrison, thank you so much for the $2 sugar box saying, ha, 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 this is gold. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's insane. Uh, oh, Admiral Tickle Tits in the house. Thank you so much for your continued support, mate. Saying congratulations on the incoming play plaque. Thank you so much. I keep refreshing. Um, it's a particular link. I keep refreshing it. They're still reviewing. It can take up to 10 days uh, from when you reach that milestone of 100,000. And so we're just on day seven now. So by Monday, we, 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 we should have the link so I can get that plaque. So, yeah, Admiral, thank you uh, so, so much for that. Um, but, yeah, guys, um, I can see here that 498 of you are agreeing with me at the moment that, you know, Megzi launching a new series on cooking and friendship is absolutely insane, uh, given that rumours are she plagiarised a recipe for a dinner party from none other than her ex-boyfriend. And the amount of friends that she did have in the past but then completely markled. Yeah, I don't think she's a really good role model for cooking and friendship. Do you? If you agree with me, if you think that she is not a good role model for cooking and friendship, uh, please use the like button as your voting tool. It's the quickest and easiest way for me to gauge your guys' opinion to see if we're on the same wavelength, if, if you think that, you know, the same as me. I can see here that 507 of you are agreeing with me at the moment that, yes, Megzi is not uh, the best role model for cooking and friendship. Uh, so, yeah, let's see if there's any others that do agree. Uh, in the meantime, uh, for those that are watching, whether you're live on the replay, live 
stay exactly where you are. We're still going to continue for a little while longer. Uh, but make sure uh, that you do subscribe to join our Alter Nerd tribe because I'll be honest with you. Like I said before, help us get to a million Alter Nerds so we can get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever's on the replay. And... Hey, up live chat. How's it going? I've got a couple of la life updates to give you in a moment. But my goodness, the support keeps coming through. Thank you so much. Uh, lose on, please. Thank you so much for the $1.99. Sugar box saying she's like the Wicked Witch of Hansel and Gretel. Yup. Uh, and General Scott, thank you so much for the $5 sugar box saying Queen Steph going off duty, but we'll be listening. If you agree with what Steph's got to say, because her gob is undeniable, uh, smash that like button. Yes, I can see here that 526 of you at the moment are agreeing with me that Megzi is not the greatest role model for cooking and friendship, that this is absolutely insane, this new upcoming series. Um, right, guys, so... You should know the rules by now in the live portion of the stream here. Essentially, anyone that sends a Super Chat, Super Chat sticker, member only chat, your chats are guaranteed to be read out. Everyone else, I'll pick and choose what stands out to me, but your chat is not guaranteed to be read out. So do please bear that in mind. Uh, also as well, uh, looking at this, we are up to 61 new leaders for today's stream. We are just four more away from whopping 65 new leaders for today's stream. Pardon me. So who else is going to either jump into today's gifting walls or be a badass and smash that join button themselves? Guys, we may soon find out. We may soon find out. Also as well, we are in the month of April. So it's either next week or the week after there will be the leader only stream. And it's the only time, guys, that you're able to call in. Speak to me direct and we can discuss everything. Hazard, Megzi and the royal family as a whole. So if you don't want to miss out on that, you know what to do. Um, and if I just have a look at our current alternate count, we were at 102,998. We are now at 103,028 alternates in the community. So if you haven't smashed that subscribe button right now, Let's get it done. Let's get to that million and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram now that she's back on social media, right? I'd love to see that meltdown. Wouldn't you? I would grift the hell out of that meltdown. That's for damn certain. Uh, we are also on Boozy Watch at the moment uh, to see if he has a meltdown because <laughs> I've reached 100,000 and... Um, Ooh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's see what you guys are saying in the meantime. Um, Joanne Miranda says she don't pierce also. Yeah, we've just gone through that. Uh, let's see uh, what else you guys are saying. Um, oh, Jay Wright, thank you so much for continued support for the leadership, mate. Uh, saying, I feel like her version... Uh, baking friendships is more of the green green edibles version enough of that and you might be gone enough to call her friend <laughs> yeah 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 uh triple c says she's an expert on manipulating men i just think she's an expert on manipulating everyone regardless regardless the the stories seem to be the same she sucks you in makes you feel like you're important and she cares and she thinks you matter, but then like that, you're done. Do you know what I mean? It, it's basically a story as old as time at this point with her as far as we're concerned, right? Uh, Sophie says, more like roasting your friendships. Exactly, right? Wow. Um, Apples and Oranges says she has never had an original idea. Yup. Yep. And uh, oh, yes. Guys, um, for those that don't know, every time we reach uh, 500 likes uh, on a live stream, it means we've achieved a monkey. So, um, yeah, get your dancing monkey shoes on because we've just achieved a monkey. So 
So thank you so much to everyone uh, that's hit the like button so far. Uh, for those that haven't, we use it as a voting tool. It's the quickest and easiest way for me to gauge you guys' opinion to see if you actually agree with me or not, if we're on the same wavelength. So if you think that Megzi is not the greatest role model in the whole wide world uh, to do a series on cooking and friendship, uh, then hit that like button right now. Uh, I can see here that 572 of you are agreeing with me so far. So we'll see if there's anyone else out there that agrees. Um, let's see what else you guys are saying. Um, oh, Mariana Roscoe. Wow. Greetings from Dubai, Steph. Oh, well. Greetings from Yorkshire. Uh, love your shows. Uh, your earlier reference was from Friends. Chandler's best expression. Booyah! Bonus nerd points to you, Mar Mariana. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Could I be any more impressed? <laughs> Check you out, lass. I love it. I love it. Um, Missy Lulu says, yes, I agree with Steph. It's insane. A cooking show will not compare. Stroke will look horrid. Uh, next to Paul McCartney's daughter, Mary McCartney serves it up, in which she had to guest dine at her house. Oof. Yeah. Um, Anne Daly says she did have a relationship with a chef in Canada something may have rubbed off as for friendships that's debatable the jury's still out on that one I went through that earlier on um, because yeah she did date a chef in Canada his name was Co is Corey Vitello and uh, yeah um, allegedly the story goes they split up the straw that uh, brought the camels back was she was hosting a dinner party made a meal and claimed the recipe as her own when it was actually Corey's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Insane, right? Insane. Um, but yeah, we went through that. Uh, Trevor Veal, thank you so much for the five pound sugar box uh, saying keep up the good work, Steph. I will. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for your continued support. Every single one of you, you guys are amazing. So thank you, thank you so, so much for that. Um, Elizabeth says it's going to be funny no Netflix but subscribe day so I know I'll see the best bits if it ever gets aired oh I will watch it so you guys don't have to how about that <laughs> I will totally watch it so you guys don't have to and Wendy Marino jumping into today's gifting wall Woo! gifting one leadership to one of you lucky lots out there so everyone say hey up to our newest leader courtesy of wendy marino that takes us to 62 new leaders for today's stream guys we're only just three away from 65 new leaders for today's stream so who else is going to jump into today's gifting wars just like wendy here and be like this ain't how you do a gifting war this is how you do a gifting war oh be an absolute badass and spank the join button you send we may soon find out guys we may soon find out uh, in the meantime let me give you a couple of life updates Today has been insane. It has been an absolute emotional roller coaster. So, for those that don't know, um, my actual my full time job is YouTube. Whichever way you slice it, it is YouTube. Um, but my full time role is actually over on Popcorn Planet and Popcorn Palace. Uh, helping Andy behind the scenes, you know, with video ideas, um, bagging, tagging, putting in ads and producing things and trying to get uh, guests in, things like that, right? And so much more, you've no idea. Um, but kindly, he gave me the day off today uh, because I was meeting up with two of my best friends, my oldest best friends. And yeah. We met up, went to um, a coffee shop, sat down, chilled, started chatting, started to have a chin wag, as you know, us females do, right? Literally, we're like sat here. There's this lass that sat on uh, across the um, aisle from us, okay? Now, she's in a wheelchair. And she seems all right until we hear a thud. And we look across and she's dropped a water bottle. Now, one of my best mates, she works for the NHS. She works for the health service. And so she goes over and she picks it up and she's like, are you okay? She's not. I then come over, 
because something's not right. And we find out she'd taken an overdose in the middle of this coffee shop. She had she had taken a bottle of oil off from what she could tell us anyway, okay? And poured it all into her coffee, drunk me all up. That hit hard to me because I take all of them off, as and when for my pancreas attacks. As soon as she said that, I called 999. 911 for the American Auto Nerds, but the emergency services. I was like, no, we're not messing about here. She's going in. Um, we were able to, you know, search around a person and find out what her name was, her date of birth. And there were other medications that she was taking. She had this blue inhaler and she had like the this bottle of pills which I didn't know what they were before, uh, but we find out afterwards that it was cyclozine, anti-sickness pills, which actually makes sense. When you take all of them off, generally speaking, you have to take anti-sickness, otherwise you're going to projectile. I don't take that anymore because I'm used to it, but it makes sense. We don't know if she took those pills or not either with it. But yeah, so we're in the middle of the coffee shop dealing with a poor lass who had literally just a meter from us try to end. Um, I was at that point just in robot mode. Right, this is what we need to do. This is what we need to get. Needed to ring 999. Needed to get the ambulance there as quick as possible. Gave them all the information that I could give them. Um, and yeah, um, we, within five, ten minutes, the ambulance, uh, crew came and they cordoned the area off with some privacy screens and yeah, they then were asking me questions, my best friend questions about the situation and yeah, um, it was, um, at the time, I was all right. Like, it was like, right, okay, this is what we need to do. This is what needs to happen. Let's get it done. Bang, 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 right? Um, it's, let's put it this way. Unfortunately, not the first time I've had to deal uh, with someone that has had ideations to end but this is the first time that I've had to deal with someone that has literally attempted that and try and bring them back from the brink and between myself and my best mate we did that um thinking about it now and talking through it now, because this is the first time I've really proper thought about it, digested it, um, processed it, and spoken out loud in such detail about it. It's affected me more than I thought it would. <laughs> um, it really has. Um, but the good news is that She's okay. We got all the help that she needed. And it's insane to say, but today, my best friend and I freaking saved a life. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. My best friend and I saved a life today. 
um, through fast thinking and being able to assess the situation without panicking to determine very quickly, yeah, this is what we're facing, this is what we need to do. Um, so yeah, um, the paramedics got there, started, you know, doing what they needed to do and took her away to the nearest hospital. Um, I wish her all the success and love in the world to get back to full health for her. Um, but yeah, uh, my best friend and I saved a life today. Um, and the harrowing thing, the most harrowing thing about it, apart from the fact that she literally attempted like like a meter away from us, right? Is that when she dropped that water bottle, again, let me reiterate, she's in a wheelchair, okay? When she dropped that wheelchair, sorry, when she dropped that wheelchair, when she dropped that water bottle, no one else got up. No one else got up. I was like to my best mate, can you just check on her? Because she works for the health service, so she'll, she she knows better, right? I would have got up if my best mate wasn't there, but I was like to my best mate, I think best just check on her, make sure she's all right, pick that water bottle up, you know? But as soon as she, because I, I mean, we could hear, right? So close. As soon as she told my best mate, right, no, I've poured, she showed the bottle of the morphine. She was like, yeah, poured this in, I'm drunk it all. I just like jumped into action. I'm like, right, we're calling the emergency services, 999. We do not, you, you, do, you do not mess about with freaking morphine. You just don't, you don't, you don't. If someone has taken, I mean, any, any medication at overdose, but morphine, that that is just it. It mm. it hits more home to me because I I have to take that stuff, you know. Um. But yeah, the biggest harrowing thing, apart from her attempting, like literally a meter away, was that no one else got up, and that place was pretty packed, and there were quite a few other people around. But no one else got up to, to pick up the water bottle to see if she was all right. No one else. I'm like, what the hell? Thinking about it now, I'm like, what the hell? Um, the poor, um, the manager of the place. Um... She came up and at one point she were in tears because she had spoken to this lady prior to her doing what she did. And she was saying, it's all my fault, it's all my fault. I'm like, what are you talking about? She was like, I spoke to her before she did this. I should have done something else. I sh I sh I'm like, what did you do? And she says, look, you know, she was saying that she wanted to do this and I was talking her out of it, saying, you know, think of your family, think of your friends, you still love this, that and the other. I says, look, she had done literally everything that she could have done at that point. There was nothing more that she could have done. Now, if she had noticed the lady and didn't go up and talk to her and she did what she did after, I can then, um, yeah, fair enough, there's, there's going to be that element of guilt, but... For me, no, she had nothing to be guilty for. 
And my friend and I, we were ta- chatting to her and we were reiterating, no, you did everything you could. She went, th- that, that manager of that coffee place went above and beyond um, to help her prior to what happened. And so, yeah, um, we had uh, the paramedics come in. Um, the manager, obviously, then, because we were in a like a shopping centre at the time, shopping mall uh, for the American Alton Nerds. Um, the uh, security came and they were chatting to us, asking what was going on and, you know, giving them all the information. And it sounds a little bit trivial saying this, but the security was like, uh, don't worry about the parking, ladies. Just come to our desk and we'll validate and you won't have to pay. We're like, okay. <laughs> we weren't really freaking bothered about that, but all right. Um... But yeah, um, it's, uh, yeah, uh, Purple is the New Black. Thank you so much for the $2.99 sugar book saying Biggie's hug stuff. Yeah. Uh, Wancho, um, this makes sense. You went into emergency damage control mode. You shut off all distractions and dealt with the problem itself. Now that it's being handled, your emotions are flooding back. I'm proud of your sister. Yeah. Yeah, it, that makes sense. Like, when something needs to be dealt with and it's an emergency crisis, whatever, I'm I shut off my emotions and I just get to it. I'm like, right, okay, what's, okay. It's like um, how I deal uh, a little bit with uh, my autism. Yeah, for those that don't know, I'm autistic. Low spectrum, high functioning. Um, I have a lot of energy, right? And I can, I, I'm more focused now. Um, but to maintain that focus, what I do is I say, okay, this is A and this is Z. I start at A and I need to get to Z. So what are the steps in between for me to get to Z? And so I'm like, okay, so step B, step C, step D. And I just methodically go through all the steps to get to Z. Um, and so that's how I deal with things a lot of the time. Um, that's how, you know, if I want to achieve something, that's how I do it to focus my energy so I keep on track, right? So yeah, this makes sense. But yeah, um, my best friend and I saved a life today. And that is, um, yeah, that is a mind F to uh, say out loud. But yeah, um, I had to, um, afterwards I had to, oh, thank you, Lynn. Uh, afterwards I had to um, shut off. And the best way to do that, retail therapy. Oh, hell yeah. I was like, afterwards to my best mates, I'm like, right, retail therapy. We're going there. We're doing this. Uh, I wanted to get some, like, sneakers, like, green-coloured sneakers. I couldn't find any. But I went to Swarovski. <laughs> I went to Swarovski, guys. I was like, do you know what? With the retail therapy will set me straight. And it did. It did. Um, and so um, I got these rings, if you can see them. Um, I saw this, and I was like, straight away, I was like, take my money. And then I was like, okay, well, I don't really have any Swarovski rings. So I thought, you know what? It looks a little bit lonely on its own. <laughs> so I then got this one, um, which is a cute little mini band. And then I got this one here, which is actually a two-in-one. So if you can see, it's a two-in-one one ring. So it's two rings, but they go together. They're like a stacker kind of situation, right? So, yeah. Together, this is now my Swarovski ring wardrobe situation. Um, and so, yeah, this one I got because it reminded me of Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox is a very outdoorsy person and flowers are outdoors. So this is my Mr. Fox ring. And then the rest are just rings that I liked to go with it. So there you go. Done. Um, and so after that, um, what I did was, um, went home, 
uh, set up this stream. And I then went to Mr. Fox's house because he had a little surprise for me. It was so cute, guys. It was so cute. So I walk in and I get into the living room and he'd set it up so wonderfully. Like a table, two chairs, like candles. And we had, he, he, he cooked a meal. We had steak uh, with some rice and mushrooms and cottage pie. And it was so lovely. And he had like these congratulation banners on the wall. Cause he, he, he did it, it was like, I know it's a week late, but congratulations for the 100,000 <laughs> subscriber milestone. Um, he was like, I got so much planned, but you hit that quicker than we thought it was gonna happen. So um, a lot of these celebrations are gonna be a little bit late now, but uh, this is the first of three, apparently. He's got two more like things in store. I don't know what, um, but I felt like, I felt like it was, it was just so cute. And, you know, I just felt like the luckiest Miss Fox in the whole wide world. Um, so yeah, uh, this is why I'm saying today was an emotional roller coaster because um, I got the day off from Andy over on Popcorn, Pan Popcorn Palace so I could meet up with my best mates. We were having a chin wag, but then that happened and my best friend and I yeah, literally did what we did. Then did some retail therapy afterwards. That pretty much got me back on track. <laughs> and then go to Mr. Fox's house and um, yeah, he had a lovely, lovely surprise. And oh, the card was so lovely. He, did a, he, he, he got me a card as well with a lovely message inside and... Yeah, it was um, it was so sweet of him. I seriously like it. I am shocked and amazed every single time because I am still not used to someone being that sweet to me, a partner being that sweet to me. You know, he's so thoughtful and so kind. And it just, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's 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 been a bit of a roller coaster, guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, with that being said, uh, Christy Rose, thank you so much for jumping in today's gifting wall, gifting one leadership to one of you lucky lots out there. So everyone say a hey, up to our newest leader, courtesy of Christy Rose. And with uh, that being said, if I just double check something here. Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, with that being said, I'm actually going to end it here uh, for today's stream. Uh, thank you so much to everyone uh, that tuned in live. Uh, looking at this, 5,681 of you tuned in live. So thank you, thank you so much for that. Uh, thank you to everyone uh, that jumped in today's Give Doom Wars or was a badass and pressed the join button yourselves. We've got 63 new leaders for today's stream. So thank you so much for that. Thank you to everyone that hit the like button to indicate if you actually do agree with me or not, if Megzi is not the greatest role model in the world for a cooking and friendship series. My goodness, 707 of you uh, agree with me on that. So thank you so much. Thank you to everyone uh, that stayed till the end. Wow, devil's number, guys, 666 of you. Love it. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Thank you to everyone as well um, that uh, chatted in the live chat. Uh, special thanks to those that sent super chat, super chat stickers, member-only chats. You guys rock. And, yeah, looking at this, 103,028. That was the last count. Let's see where we're at now. Woo! 103,031 new alternates nerds in the community. So thank you, thank you so, so much to everyone that hit the subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button right now. Help us get to a million alternates nerds so we can get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. I'd love to see that, wouldn't you? Uh, with that being said, tomorrow is my day off. But Sunday, you can join me again, 10 o'clock UK time, 5 o'clock Eastern for the Daily Nerd Live Sunday edition. Uh, but with that being said, guys, enjoy your weekend and until the next time, laters.